Okay, so I was gonna do a full walk around of my truck inside and out, but it started raining pretty good, which is kind of weird. Really, really weird weather. It was like 98 degrees a minute ago and blazing hot, and now it's raining. It's kind of cool, but I am in the middle of something here, and basically took the emblems off so I'm working on trying to get this garnish I guess is what they call it off so I can paint them I'm gonna paint all the emblems black including that uh, little garnish on the trunk there so to get to that um, all I did for these emblems was I took some fishing string and kind of went behind it, got them off. And for this guy, on the four corners, there's pops that just pop it out. But you do have to disconnect, obviously, your license plate there. Um, you have to get inside, take off this trim on the back and then take off all the bolts here that hold this metal piece on. And then there's a few bolts that you gotta get to. One of them's right here next to the door lock. Two of them that hold the latch release on there. And then they just kind of pop out. This will just pop out so you can paint it or whatever you need to do, you know. If you need to get to your lights or access the motor for your window or whatever you're trying to get to so yeah that's what we're working on right now okay so once you get this little garnish out of there like I said there's a few what three so one two three bolts that are going to hold it in place including your two for the license plate and then your clips in the corners and stuff to hold it in place um, you're also going to need to those two screws there hold the door lock mechanism in place take those out get the door lock out of the way and then you have three screws one three screws right here one two and three that hold the door latch in place get that out of the way so we can take the screws out for the lights here get the lights out and then your whole surround is good to go just got to clean it up and get it ready for paint so this should look pretty good once we're done here okay so we got it off um, you could just kind of let the lights hang door lock hang everything here so what we're looking at here my license plate lights were covered with dirt a ton of dirt inside of there so i'm going to clean those out and then like i said go ahead and paint all of that and the truck was actually originally black i don't know if you, you can see it in the camera it was black and they painted it green so they did i guess a terrible job on the paint job they debadged it to paint it but it looks like they left the glue under there it looks it's like all raised up Either they didn't clean it well enough for the paint job or they left the original glue that was holding it on because you can see exactly where the emblem was at which kind of works out I mean at least I know where to put the emblems exactly where they were when I'm done but you could tell it was kind of a half done job and I think what I'm gonna do also is take this uh, windshield wiper off and paint it as well because I did that with the front I painted these the windshield wipers in the front this one's all just the weather has gotten to it over the years so might pull those off and paint that off and paint it as well so when you're prepping these for paint um, I'm sure a lot of you guys probably already know if you don't whatever uh, steel wool I just use this little steel wool here and just lightly go in a circular motion and kind of just get all kinds of directions of cross hatches on there a little bit. See how it's kind of roughed up? 
they're not too deep and a couple coats of paint will hide them just to get a rough surface for the paint to adhere to on the chrome pieces of these emblems and stuff they're actually a little bit tougher so you got to really kind of dig in a little bit with this steel wool but you definitely want to just scuff it up and then once it's all scuffed up and good to go um, you want to clean it real good with soapy water and then rinse it okay once you prepped everything sanded it down real good or whatever roughed it up however um, you want to clean it off good with some water clean water maybe some soap get all the powder and stuff off the dust off from the, whatever you scratched off um, so we're all cleaned up I kind of propped it up with some paper towels and a water bottle and stuff and then you start running your paint and the first coat that you do is your tack coat so you do a real light dust of over everything so it'll start to bond you can see it's not really like dark or anything it's just kind of dusted I usually keep the spray can about 12 to 18 inches away from it so that way it gets a good coverage and then we'll do a few more coats and let it dry okay so I did about five coats of paint over it now I'm just letting it dry I let each each coat dry about five ten minutes in between I did about three coats on the wiper blade because well it's just a wiper blade but uh, I'm taking a different route with these emblems and I watched another YouTube video where they use degreaser like extra strength degreaser and they let their emblems soak in there and it actually ate the chrome away down to the plastic so see if I can do that with these emblems and just eat the chrome off and then it'll be easier to just paint over that the paint will stick a lot better and the paint that I use is just this stuff right here rust-oleum paint and primer and the reason I I'm gonna use that because it says it bonds to plastic really well. So it's just a semi-gloss. I'm not gonna do a clear coat over it just yet because I think I'm gonna do that Forerunner emblem right there, like a forest green, just to match the exterior of my Forerunner here. So it's like a good black and green combination. I don't know if you guys can tell I am getting rid of all the chrome and just doing everything black and green so that's how it's working out so far so we'll see so now it's a few hours later and none of the chrome is coming off the degreaser trick didn't work so I'm gonna take a wire brush to them rough them up a little bit throw a tack coat on there and just paint them black and then we'll just slap it all back together Alright, so we got our tack coat started on the emblems here, and what I did, what I like to typically do is always make sure that the emblems or whatever I'm painting is off of the painter's tarp or the cardboard or whatever I'm painting on. And uh, I used painter's tape and just rolled it up, sticky side towards the emblem, so it keeps it off of the tarp and I don't have to peel the emblem off of the plastic. And then... It's easy just to pull that tape off the back once it's dry. So we'll slap a few more coats on here once this tack coat dries a little bit and then keep going from there. You can see I'm kind of already having some bonding issues with that chrome. Starting to orange peel a little bit on the B6, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm a little bit irritated because they did leave, like I said, the glue was left on. And, uh, I can't get this glue off because it'll start peeling the paint. It already started kind of doing it on this side. And you can see like the black underneath. Because like I said, they did kind of a half-ass paint job on it. See the five right there. Paint's peeling if I try and get, and that's the glue underneath the paint. This, this paint already peeled off. So that's kind of irritating. But everything's all cleaned up and we're just waiting for paint to dry so we can install everything 
when I got it, this Toyota emblem wasn't even on here. It was in the back though, so I went ahead and painted that one as well, and I'm gonna put that one back on, so. Should be pretty awesome when she's done. Okay, so it's the next day and it's not raining. It's hot as shit out. And we are all the way dry. So I let it dry overnight. And these things are ready to go back on. Looks killer. Um, how I'm gonna put these emblems back on is this stuff here. Molding tape. 3M Auto, so it's kind of skinny, I figure I can cut it down to fit, especially around the skinny little Toyota emblem, and it says it's for emblems right there, so we'll see how this goes, see how it looks. Okay, so we got the lights back in, and what I kind of wanted to show though is there's like a little channel back here for your wire to ride through, can't really see very well with the light but you want to make sure that your wiring for your lights goes back in that channel so when you install this latch back in there you're not having issues your wires not in the way or you're not pinching it or whatever when you tighten these three screws that hold it down back in place okay so lights back in place latch back in place door lock back in place so now we just got to fit it back up, get everything bolted back on. This thing's going to look sweet. So I went and picked up these guys because I only have one license plate light working. So got some LED ones, swap them out while we have the uh, license plate holder off. And then get it all back together, get some new lights in there. Okay, so I got this thing mostly on there, but I just popped the top so we can get the lights out and replace them. And one thing I just learned at the AutoZone when I went to pick these things up is you got the new LED bulb here and the old bulb. The old bulb has two filaments, it said, inside of it. So it doesn't matter which direction that you put the bulb in, it's gonna work. This guy, he said, is a one-way bulb. So he said, good idea is to plug it in and then test it before you bolt it all up. So that way you know you have it in the right direction because it won't work if you put it in backwards. Whereas this one, you can't put it in backwards. You can just throw it in and it'll work. So there's that. Okay, so when you're reinstalling the door latch on this back side right here, where this, those two bolts that I was telling you holds it on. You want to make sure that there's a arrow there that's pointing up or towards the vehicle, I guess, when the hatch is up. And there's a little plate attached to this rod. You want to make sure it's on the lower side of that little arm right here for the, for the latch. So that way, when you pull the latch, you can see it hits that plate and pushes the rod open and opens the hatch. Otherwise, you're gonna have to tear it all apart because your hatch doesn't work. Okay, so this is all hooked back up. And the cool thing was, I got both of those right the first time. So, those are those LED lights. They should be pretty bright. I mean, they're pretty bright right now and the sun's out. So, when it's dark, it should light up that license plate pretty well. So, let's work on the rest of the underside of this tailgate and the hatch, I guess. It's all hooked up. Don't forget to hook back up the rod there to your door lock. Otherwise the door lock won't work, the hatch lock. And everything else is good. So I'm just gonna put this plate back on and hook these cannon plugs all back up to it so we can work the emblem. And now the most tedious process is putting the tape on the back of these emblems. They turned out pretty sweet. Little bit of orange peel, not too bad. And I'm just taking the roll, using the scissors, cutting pieces, and fitting them to the backs of these emblems so we can stick them back on. My only worry is I hope that they actually stick. 
to this glue that's stuck on it, like we talked about. But I did get this all put back together, so it's pretty cool. Looks dope. So, see how it works out. Okay, so we cut all these tiny little pieces of double-sided tape out. So now we're just gonna peel them, stick them, get it over with, get it done with. Okay, moment of truth here. Got all the sticky stuff. Let's see if it fits and works over the existing glue. Looks like it's sticking all right. Oh yeah, that works good. I was worried about that. Let's go get another one. There it is. Let's go get another Worked one. Worked real good. All right. We're done. Put her in the sun so we can see a little bit. It's bitching. Kind of like OCD about the like emblem tape. You can see it. That's only if you're really paying attention to it. If you're just looking at it, you're like, oh yeah. Sweet black emblems. Got them all on there. Windshield wipers on there. Painted, shiny. All look real good. Super pumped up about it. Thanks for watching.